96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Network. The aftermath of every social revolution brings about change. Cultural norms and landmarks shift as our minds and hearts extend beyond the familiar. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose in the land of the living. This is our time to renew, revive, and restore the hope lost to the busyness of life. This is our time to dig again and rebuild from the storms of our past on a solid footing that holds. Welcome to The Foundation. The Foundation. The Foundation of Hearts Grant is brought to you by Alive, Bahamas Liquidation Center, A Blissful Escape in Paradise, Bone for Bones, Burger King, Commonwealth Bank, Doctors Hospital, Epic Battery, Grand Bahama News, Marcos Pizza, Prince Masters, and Ron's Electric Motors. The Foundation. The Foundation. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM radio, Howard Grant in your company, The Foundation, Thursday, Small Business Thursday, so happy to be in your company, guys, chopping the thing down, always talking the way that we are, continue to be able to kind of push forward and talk about national growth and development. I know that we're moving towards independence, so all you folks out there who are interested in kind of bringing your stuff that you have for independence, your shoes, your bike, your this, your that, all those products, uh, I'd love to be able to talk about that. But before we do so, I'd like to be decent as possible and shout out all those persons. Got to shout out my good, decent people over at Da Vinci's Printing and Innovators. They got everything laid out for you as it relates to your graphics, designs, and some beautiful, beautiful trinkets that are available in that particular space. Guys, go down there and check them out. Go down there and check it out. DaVinciPrinting242.com. They got everything for you if you're in the space that you want to kind of get that idea out and put professionalism to it. Ensure that you can uh, kind of lay it out properly as it relates to being able to put pizzazz uh, to the project that you got going on. Da Vinci Printing 242.com in the in the, in the the Village Road Shopping Plaza. They got everything uh, available for you. Want to be able to check that thing out. The Village Road Shopping Plaza right there. Um, uh, Village Road, Brennan Road, Soldier Road, Wolf Road at the intersection on the northern side. You can be able to see them. Got to shout out my good, decent people over at AFS Insurance Agents and Brokers. They got everything available for you. They're open 9 to 5. Weekdays, 9 to 2, Saturday. If you're in the market looking for insurance, go and check them out. Go and check them out. They got everything laid out for you. I'm telling you the truth. You can be able to do that. And uh, annually, <laughs> my good friend Ethric Bo has something very nice for you. He told me, I'm still waiting on a call to see whether or not he's filled that position for administration. So please let me know whether or not he's done that. But if you're in the market looking for something to do and you want to be able to learn the insurance agency, the insurance business, so forth and so on, do so. Uh, give him a call, 341-1AFS, 341-1AFS. They're located number 407 Blue Hill Road South. They can take very good care of you. Guys, make sure you pick up your Guardian newspaper. All the information's in the paper. And as we touch the paper today, as we touch the paper, as we recognize uh, some of the depth, the girth, the weight of the paper today, we know that it's a Thursday. And even on a Thursday, we recognize our brothers and sisters whose transition. Are. Now, I always like to say this to you, uh, just giving recognition to the day and the time that exists. If you're one of those persons who are dealing with transition in your life, dealing with uh, your loved one passed away, uh, brother, sister, husband, wife, uh, friend, mother, whoever. If you're dealing with transition in your life and you're looking for someone to capture the essence of your loved one, you're looking for a company that you can go to that can be able to, you know, recreate the presence and almost the character that your loved one lived, you want to be able to go to professionals to do that. You've got to go down to my good, decent people over at Butler's Funeral Homes and Crematorium. they got everything available for you. you got to check them out. Butler's Funeral Homes and Crematorium, they're located on Ernest and York Street. Uh, just let them know that Howard Grant sent you down there. He's always talking about you. These guys are like family to me. And so they can take very good care of you. But the funeral homes and crematorium, they got everything laid out. Guys, it's a beautiful day today. And uh, we have something very special for the past, uh, last week, this week, in the next few weeks. We're going to talk about Men's Month. 
I want to be able to introduce you and talk to you about a little segment that we get coming up for Men's Month from Doctors Hospital. This segment is brought to you by Doctors Hospital. At Doctors Hospital, we care. Real strength means taking care of your health. This Men's Health Month, visit Doctors Hospital for expert primary care and life-saving specialist visits. Schedule your screening today. And it's Men's Health Month, ladies and gentlemen. That's something that Doctors Hospital wanted to do, and I'm very grateful for the opportunity to be, to be able to have that kind of a conversation. Really was enthusiastic and excited about it last week. I'm hoping that we can be able to get, uh, maybe stretch the month another week <laughs> and see if we can be able to get that conversation. But I'm here with none other than Dr. Uh, Rashida Brown-Clark. Dr. Brown Clark is here to be able to talk to us about Men's Health Month, to be able to talk about the proactive ways that we can be able to do this. Dr. Brown Clark, introduce yourself, let persons know who you are, your responsibility, the division that you're in, and what we're going to be talking about today. Okay, thank you, thank you for having me. I am Rashida Brown Clark, as you mentioned. I am a psychiatrist. I have been in practice uh, publicly up until um, last year. Uh, with the Sandlands Rehabilitation Center and now full-time with Doctors Hospital. And I've been uh, in the practice of psychiatry since I finished residency in 2009. And I am a psychiatrist, which means I am a medical doctor that has specialized in the field of psychiatry. And I do primarily outpatient uh, psychiatric uh, work or practice with Doctors Hospital. So tell me this. I want to get just uh, some clarity and understanding of what psychiatry is. A lot of persons in our society will deem it based upon commercialism, based upon this sort of an idea that continues to be able to spill into our society. They'll deem it something wrong with your brain, something wrong with your head. You're crazy. These crazy people and somebody got to help you with that. Talk to me about what your feel is and for the years that you've been doing, how you concentrate on these particular things. So psychiatry is actually the, the practice of treatment treating people with severe mental illness and severe mental illness, yes, are disorders of the brain. So the brain uh, is responsible for how we think, how we behave, how we speak, and uh, mental illness can affect how we behave, how we think, how we speak. And so we use certain criteria to uh, make diagnoses. And based on those diagnoses, we have evidence-based treatments. Mm -hmm. So that is what I do. So I, I do primarily medication management. So as a doctor, I am able to prescribe medications. It is very different um, from psychology. So a lot of people get us mixed up. And the psychologist is not a medical doctor, but they are the experts in talk therapy. And so when you need specific talk therapies, you go and you see a psychologist. When you need medication management, that is when the psychiatrist comes in and those would be for more severe cases. So so the first, I, I, I got to ask this question. So the I would not use the word crazy. No, you don't. No, not at all. I got to tell my people that. Please, I gotta, please. Listen, we don't use the word crazy. We do not. Which word we use? We use the, we we say that the person is ill, that the person has an illness, and it's no different than any other physical illness. So we try to get people to understand that a mental illness is is very similar to somebody who has diabetes, hypertension, any number of, of chronic or acute illnesses, physical illnesses. Now, now I want to know, between um, um, psychology and your position as a psychiatrist, sure. is there a step that we go if we are presenting? Sure. Right? Uh, as though we have these particular challenges that we're trying to be able to go through. And someone wants to be able to make an assessment of you. Is there a step that we take? Do we go psychology, psychiatrist after we make this kind of deduction? It, it, it depends. A lot of times, uh, especially in our society where there's such a, where there's such a great stigma towards um, psychiatric illness or psychological um, ailments, I would usually recommend that you start maybe with your family medicine practitioner, and that person should be able to determine whether or not you actually whether you you need to see a psychologist or whether you need to see a psychiatrist. Many times you can start with your 
clinical psychologist and that person should be able to ascertain what is going on and determine if you do need to see a psychiatrist or not. Um, in our society, you are able a to... A general practitioner. A, a family medicine physician, yes. Yeah. So a general practitioner. Um, and and then they can, they can step it up to psychology or psychiatry or um, a family member or the person themselves can decide that they're going to start with a psychologist and the psychologist will refer them to a psychiatry. In our system, you are able to walk into a specialist office. So I do have people who come into me um, not really knowing what th what their needs are. People feel like once you come to the doctor, the doctor will always give you medication. But there are many times when I will say to somebody that you don't actually need me. You don't actually need medication management. And you would be served by seeing a psychologist or therapist. For talk therapy. Yes. So it's sometimes we just need this kind of a thing. I think in our society, we've... Uh, We've had this kind of uh, this blockade, this blockage sure. that stop us from being able to access what we really need to be able to unravel some of the issues that we are kind of grappling with in our mind. Sure. And so you believe that a lot of persons talk to me about that. I think a lot of men need to hear this more specifically. Uh, how how therapeutic is it for you to be able to approach this, this sort of a language and just sort of kind of, uh, you know, derobe and in front of someone who's a professional to talk about, hey, listen, these are some of the issues that has been traveling with me for, I don't know, 30 years, 35 years. Talk to me about that. So I, I think I think it needs to start very early. I think we need to, to start talking to children about opening up and, and speaking about how they're feeling and what they're going through and to recognize when something is not quite right because a lot of illnesses actually start in childhood, especially things like anxiety disorders. So when you realize that you have this child, we, we, we tend to want to take them to the priest or we try to beat the anxiety out of them and not recognize that this child may need to, to speak to somebody about what they're going through, what they're feeling, what makes them anxious. So really getting into, into the mindset that we need to deal with things early we need to be able to talk about what is going on. We, we need to be able to talk about how we feel. We need to allow our children to, to explain to us how they feel and try to help them navigate it. And when uh, somebody does need help, not to hide it, not to think of it as, as a shame or a weakness, but to actually be able to say, this person needs help and I need to, to get them help or to be able to say, Something is going on with me. I can't quite explain it. I need help. I need to speak to someone. So trying to take the shame away from it so people do not feel ashamed about what they are feeling and what they are experiencing and um, be open to having them to the help that they need. But the stigma starts with us. We need to look at ourselves. <coughs> As a society. Yes, we need to look at ourselves and we need to, we need to understand where the stigma how comes we, from. How so, do we destigmatize this? How do we how do we now take the sting out of this sort of an idea that I may have some issues? How do we as adults, as those who are responsible for being able to shape society and ensure that we're moving towards productivity, how do we now being able to almost put shame on the fact that if someone uh, being condescending or you know using a particular tone <coughs> with you, if you're saying, hey, listen, um, you may need some help in this particular area. Talk to me about that. Well, first of all, we need to take words like crazy out of our vocabulary. Okay, I'll so, do that. Right. <laughs> please, I'll that down now. please. Crazy so, out. Okay. Yeah, so, so, so <laughs> no calling anybody crazy. <coughs> Sorry. Being able to um, speak about illness as illness and and also being to ac uh, accepting the fact that it is an illness so that how we feel we will talk about things and how we will relate to things and so once we change the language and we, we recognize these as illnesses or ailments, then the, the stigma starts to fall away because when you have, say high blood pressure, and you have headaches and blurred vision, et cetera, because of it. There is an understanding that I am ill, I have something going on, and I go to the doctor to find out what is wrong. <coughs> I'm so sorry. But if we start to look at mental illness and psychological ailments the same way, 
then we are able to treat them that way. Let me see if I can get you a cup of water so Thank we can be you. able to do that, right? Guess, uh, get a cup of water. All right, so, but I, I'd, I'd like to be able to talk about this because I think it's important <coughs> that as, as, as we dive deeper into these things, as we take on this kind of a course to identify some of the issues that we have, I think it's fitting and appropriate for us to start off with these issues. I've listened to the, I listened to, I listened to this particular podcast. We can have this conversation real quick. Now, there was a preacher, I can't remember his name, but he is the pastor of <coughs> Gateway International Church, United States of America. He just stepped down from his position. He stepped down from his position, what he called sins, right? Some sins of his past. Now, somebody came forward after 35 years, after 35 years, to say that he had inappropriately approached them and touched them inappropriately when they were 12 years old. These people are 47 years old now, almost 50. Yes. And now, after years of going through therapy, after years of all these things, in fact, the person only asked him, say, $50,000, give me so I could be able to pay for my therapy for what I had to endure when I was a 12-year-old child and you put me and I had to follow me all my life. There are people in our society. I just want to be decent as I say this. There are men in our society. There are women in our society. There are people, there are families that keep these things shut down. The ailments, first and foremost, some of the uh, tangible, outwardly expressed issues that we see as a result of people harboring this sort of an information, this sort of a, this, this, this thing that burns a hole in their chest after years and years, and the, the reason why they would need talk therapy to be able to get this kind of stuff out. So we know that um, childhood trauma can lead to any number of psychological and mental illnesses later in life. Uh, things like post-traumatic stress disorder, which is an anxiety disorder, anxiety disorders, generalized anxiety disorder, depressive disorders, uh, they are at risk for developing these illnesses because of the childhood trauma. So gone are the days when we say that somebody who was abused as a child, you know, you don't talk about it, you don't think about it, and it will go away. We know that that is not true. It never goes away. It never does. And so I have seen... Elderly people, Our 70s, society says, 80s. Let it go, man. Yeah. Just let it go. You, you, you don't let something like that go. You do not. It hold on to you. You hold on to it. The, the trauma is there. It has, it has changed the brain. It has changed the chemistry of the brain forever. And until you deal with it, until we, we, until we lay the wound bare. And we deal with that. We deal with the 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 hurt and the and the scars. It will always be there. And so, talk therapy earlier than later is very important. And then there there are certain things that we don't we don't see as trauma, but don't go away. For instance, a child losing a parent when they're very young. So the death of a parent um, is very traumatizing for a child. And that is something that, that does not go away. That can also lead to illness later on in life, depressive illnesses, anxiety illnesses. And most do not get therapy when they lose a parent um, as a child. Because, again, the thought is, oh, they were so young. You they'll know, forget it about it. It doesn't matter. They'll, they'll forget about it. Well, they never had their father, so, so what That's difference does crazy. it make? Um, and and they they become is that our insensitivity as a society? I mean, from your clinical perspective and vantage point, I think I think it's I think it's ignorance, and we think of ignorance as as a horrible thing. But all ignorance is, is information. When, when you don't have the information. Yeah. But if we can have these discussions, and we can have open discussions about these things, then we'll start to think differently about it, and we'll seek help for those who who need the help when they need the help. I like to put a picture to it. I like to be able to give a real life example, not necessarily calling any names or anything, because this is what really connects with people. And then you could be able to give me the diagnosis, the approach, how do we be able to do these things? What is the age, do you believe, that um, uh, talk <coughs> therapy should start in a child? Well, 
this is interesting because I spoke to, please. Um, I can fight you. Go ahead. I can bring some Buckley's for you next time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I need that. I need Buckley's. I need it eight thousand dollars. Seriously, can I get a loan for it? <laughs> Honestly. Um, now, I, I had a, I had an interesting discussion with a therapist who deals with children fairly recently, and her her thought was that. A child, you should introduce a child to a therapist when they start to show signs that there's something wrong, um, especially the younger children. You don't want to necessarily introduce something if there is if there are no signs. Now, I don't know. I don't know the the data behind that because I don't do much when it comes to children and adolescents. But I think if you have a traumatic event that you are aware of, so if the child loses a parent or you know that the child has has been subjected to any sort of trauma, then that introduce them to someone, to have them speak to someone. Um, so I don't know if there is a specific age, but it is when you know that something has happened and this child has, has um, had something happen to them or they start to show signs that something isn't quite right. And it's very important to remember the children act out many times, especially younger children. So you may notice behavioral changes uh, because younger children might not be able to come to you and say, Daddy... I feel sad, or mommy, I feel a bit anxious or nervous, but they may act out. They may have behaviors that um, suggest that something is going on, and, and definitely you should speak to them and possibly have them speak to someone when you notice changes in their behavior. A lot of people kind of chalk it up uh, to say, that child got too much sugar in the system. I didn't need to be able to do this. Mm -hmm. So so the clinical... Um, psychologist, I'm, I'm sorry, the general practitioner, your family doctor that you would go to, pediatrician. they'll make a determination as to whether or not these are sure. some of the steps that you should take first. Sure, the pediatrician okay, is a like good this. first step. I like this, I like this. All right, we're going to take this quick commercial break, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get back and talk with none other than Dr. Rashida Brown-Clark as we continue to be able to identify and talk about Men's Health Month and really being able to talk about talk therapy and uh, the steps that we need to be able to take to, rect to remedy a lot of the issues that we have in society. Today's note, very clear note, today's note, take crazy out of your vocabulary. We can do that. <laughs> we can be decent about that. Quick commercial break, guys. We're going to be right back after this. Foundation. What can make you happy and angry at the same time? The Angry Whopper and new Angry Chicken Sandwich at Burger King Nassau. It's time to get angry and take on the flavor sensation of BK's signature flame grilled beef, spicy jalapenos, bacon, classic onion rings, cheese, fresh veggies, and all the fixings you love. Or try the new Angry Chicken with the same delicious spicy ingredients on a crispy chicken breast patty. Take your taste buds to Whopper and Angry Chicken today, only at Burger King Nassau. <laughs> Bonneville Bones, established in 1970, is the leader in men's fashion in the Bahamas. We're conveniently located in the Mall at Marathon and the Harbor Bay Shopping Plaza, and fully stocked with everything you need for all occasions. Our Harbor Bay location is one door north of Alive, with the black and white signage of Bonneville Boutique. Both locations are open from 10 to 7 p.m., Monday through Saturday. Bonneville Bones and Bonneville Boutique Still the leader in men's fashion. Located in the Mall at Marathon and the Harbor Bay Shopping Plaza. The Grand Bahama News is available every Tuesday in the Nassau Guardian. You can buy your local paper at Freeport Convenience Stores, Western Bakery, DeGregory's Fine Foods, and Bellevue Gifts. Now is the time to reach your Grand Bahama market with affordable packages, including print and digital. Call GB News Sales Representative Kavandre at 822-6717 or message him on WhatsApp for ad rates. Classified ads are now available every Tuesday. Tuesday as well. Keep up with everything Grand Bahamian every Tuesday in the Nassau Guardian. Now let me see now. 326 EPIC. Hello? Hello? This this epic e epic battery? This Miss Bueller from around the corner. I hear you are selling tires now on Wolf Road 2. Praise the Lord. It's about time. 
I live Fox Hill, and Fire Trail is too far. That ain't all. They open Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. On Sunday and holiday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. My brother Sam, he's a hacker, and he could go right there and get fixed up. Call us at 326-EPIC. We ship also to the family island. Doctors Hospital has reimagined primary care. We have invested to improve our health system, ensuring that accessible, affordable, world-class clinical care is closer to you. We understand that your relationship with a primary care provider shapes the foundation of your overall health. Our new modern primary care facilities are where critical diagnoses and true personalized treatment begins. With locations across New Providence, Grand Bahama, and Exuma, we invite you to experience the Doctors Hospital difference. Book your next appointment at Clinic and, and we are back, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM, FM Radio, Howard Grant in your company, the foundation here with none other than Doctors Hospital being able to identify Men's Health Month. As we continue to be able to talk about these things, I'm grateful over the next few weeks, every Thursday for an hour at the top of the show, we're bringing on Doctors Hospital and various persons are going to be coming on to talk to us about specific health issues. Today, we kicked it off with none other than Dr. Rashida Brown-Clark having a conversation with, with us. Uh, in her particular capacity as a psychiatrist. She's been doing this for how many years you've been doing this now? I have been doing this since 2009. So how many years is that? A lot of years. That's 15 years. 15 years. Thank you. 15 years. Right? Uh, you say like a lot of years. You say it like... <laughs> so, it so feels is, like a lot of years. That's so how answer. <laughs> And so, but are you married? How long have you been married? I've been so married long. for a lot, lot of years now, Jesus. So, oh, no, sir, that's any Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you need to stop, right? So let's talk about these particular things now. And you, we started to talk about this. We started to talk. In our society, we recognize that there is a blockage. Now, let me say this. I, I want to be decent with you as I say <laughs> this. Uh, my brother introduced me. I have a brother. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the eldest, right? My younger brother... Um, calls me up and he said, well, he came by and he and I just were sitting down uh, having a conversation and he says, what you doing on Monday? So, so, uh, this is a weird question. I'm going to be going to work, sir. That's what we do, right? So he said, but no, I mean, after, I want to introduce you to like a sort of a group therapy thing, right? So I said, group therapy? First time ever. I, I haven't heard this I had friends of a lighter hue who would introduce these concepts to me. I just want to be decent as I say this to you, right? My brother, who's actually of a darker hue than me, <laughs> he says to me, he says, uh, I want to introduce you to this sort of a group therapy. It's just this kind of a, a space that we can get together and sort of have a conversation with professionals in there to talk about some of the trauma and some issues. Time that was playing on me for days. I try to figure out why would my brother introduce me? I never hear that like for days. You know what I mean? For day we grew up in the same house, we from the same parents, everything. For days. I went through this. I said, okay, so he knew what I would have gone through, what he would have gone through. What is this <laughs> that he's introducing to me, right? And then I really thought about it and I said to myself, This is the proper company that you would want to be in. Uh this is this sort of an introduction to sort of unraveling things in your life needs to happen more in different subsectors of our society. This kind of an idea of just going to the bar, having a drink, mm -hmm. or just being able to go out casually and never really deal with the issue at hand is a sort of a bottleneck in our society where things can't really flow the way that it, sh it should happen. Talk to me about how you believe men in specific, because mm -hmm. uh, we're dealing with men. How can men approach this? How can men who are having issues, uh, how can we, you know, where's the access for us to be able to do these things? Our pride may not necessarily say that we need help. Where, how can we access this? How can you approach the conversation? What are the signs that we look for if men have uh, childhood trauma or some issues that they need to deal with, that they need to be able to get to some sort of therapy? Talk to me about that. So this, that that's, that's a, a loaded question because men generally do not seek health care as readily as, as women do. So, and that, 
and so that's not only for um, any mental illness. That's, that's for, for hangnails. Fi- exactly. If your toe, if your pinky toe exactly. falling off, you as a man should be able. Ele- it could help. And 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 you just wrap that hangnail up, bam, and do the best that you can. Electric tape. Do not do not cry. Do not show any weakness. No you way. Do not have to go to a doctor. And so, you know, it starts with it starts with our perception about men and and health and and taking care of themselves and so we we need to get men to understand that seeking health care is better for them better for their families because we need them to be healthy in order for the family to be healthy and that is physically mentally, spiritually, etc. So it is uh, getting men to, 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 to seek help when they should. Um, I do find that when men get together with other men, their, their, their discussions are ve- can be very superficial. And so getting them to, to speak to each other about deeper things. Okay, okay, okay. Superficial may have been, uh, 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 you know, but, but the, the ten, Basketball. Basketball or... Football. Football or... Yeah. That gal look good, you know, but... Which is also a very important question. This is an important topic. But, anyway, but, we but when, it, when it gets to, you know, how do you feel... Men don't have feelings. And so we so we have to we have to we have to get over that. We have we to don't get, have feelings. We've but, never been taught we, to have feelings. But we, we have to we, we have, have responsibility. To start, we have to start with our boys and we have to talk to our boys and we have to talk to our men and get them to 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 speak it's about how they're feeling. It's heavy what you're saying. Because even that somewhere deep in our subconscious or even on the surface for many men based upon the home that they grew up in. This sort of an idea of trying to be able to to shift the legacy of your family, the legacy of your last name, the legacy of what you stand for, and be able to say to your son, hey, listen, you don't necessarily have to do it like this anymore. I know daddy did it like this. I know my father did it like this. I know his father did it like this. But I want to be able to give you a different way. Yes. It, that may be, for a lot of men hard to kind of deal with it 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 is but but this is you have you have we to make your boy soft but that's, right, that's the mindset but right now we have to make conscious decisions so that our children and their children can consciously so men now have to make conscious decisions to be different with their sons to speak differently to their sons to Give their sons different language than they were given. So give your son the space and a safe space to come and speak about how they are feeling and not belittle them, not call them crazy, not call them the S word when they when they are emotional. Hold on, wait. I, I, the S word. We, we know what the S word is in our society. We do? Yes. We don't use that word either. Praise God. So Two we, words, ladies and gentlemen. Write that second word down. S, boom, 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 boom. Praise so God. So we, we, do, we don't want to, to make them feel as though they do not have a safe space to speak about how they are doing, how they are feeling. And so they will grow up being able to express themselves, being able to identify when something is wrong, being in these people and speak about what is wrong. And so when they get together with their friends, it will be therapeutic. It'll be a space to But that's the decency talk. of friends, though. I have some friends that we get very deep in conversations. But we talk in politics. I just want to be decent with you as I say that, right? <laughs> We're not going to talk about like I've so never like, been I don't in know if I can if I can can I call that superficial? That's not. Uh, it's social. Social. It's social. Social. Right? Very social. So we have a lot of social conversations. Sure. Socioeconomic conversation, um, um, educational conversations to do with society. Everything sure. is social based. Okay, that's not, a good way to. We're s- not going to get into how you feel. Personal. No. We're not necessarily even going to get into family. No. Because, because you, you've been told that you don't do that. You shouldn't do that. Men 
there's an unspoken rule among men. And the only reason I talk to you about this as a woman, uh, because of your professional vantage point. <laughs> and so I, I got to know whether or not do we break this door down. Society. These petitions that exist between conversations. Sure. We accept sure. it. We, we, I know that I don't get nobody business. I know. So I, t- I tried it before. I can be decent as I say this to you. There was an issue when I was very young in my marriage with family members who came and tell me that their boyfriend, they ain't married yet, their boyfriend having problems with this boy, and boom, 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 boom. And as me, who then gone through this and ain't married now, I say, come, that's why you come to me. So, uh, and I say to them, I say, listen, man, I, mean, I think you need to be able to assess this. Before you be able to take these steps, you have to be able to assess yourself and find out if you're ready for this, boom, boom, boom. The people get back together now, it sounds like I want you, woman. Jesus, God, I'm ready. This is too much. I should stay out of people's business. I shouldn't have to learn the hard way when I'm trying to be vulnerable uh, and open up to have these kind of conversations where there isn't maturity on the next side of this gate. And so, yeah, so so they're they're not going to be, you know, you may not want to have this discussion with with every friend that you have because a lot of friends and some friends and and, and we love to talk about friends but some friends are not friends they're acquaintances Mm. and so you have to know who is an acquaintance and what you will speak to that person about and who is a true friend and or true friends and who you will speak and you'll speak to them about things and maybe a bit personal so I'm not I'm not suggesting that every um, uh, every group Discussion no. has to be about how you feel no. and your anxieties or your fears, etc. But there should be an opportunity where you can get together with one or two people and talk about how you're feeling and the problems that you're having, so that you can get good advice. Because you can get good advice from 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 friends, from family. Um, but we have good to be friends. able to have good friends, and we have to be able to have that discussion. Who ain't gonna talk about the business? Everybody in Nassau knows you. Woo, child, you hear what happened? What, what, my God. Yes. No, I won't be decent. Exactly. Okay, praise God. I see I got a telephone call. I normally don't take telephone calls. Can I do this? You want to take a call? Sure, you want to take a call? Let's take a call. Because these people got questions now. They want to sure. talk. Yeah, good afternoon, Mr. Allegrant. Hey, good afternoon, my brother. What's up, 52? Hey, good afternoon to your guest. Good afternoon. Okay, she right here. Yeah, right I was prompted to call. I don't know, uh, because I know she said she's a psychiatrist, and so... And I familiar with I was reading up on psychiatry for a while, the history of psychiatry and the guessing and the controlling of the DSM and then the scientific dictatorship as it relates to let's say family members construct a concept, they want to inherit something, they go to the court, they say or they go to somebody, they say he's uh, insane. So I had a friend uh held at the Sandlands Rehabilitation Center. Uh he was in uh, some fight by a washer since he was uh held there I don't know if they shock him. Uh, they, they deny that they still do any electroshock therapy, but whatever psychedelic drugs or psychotropic drugs they give him, he came out, he's different. And so my question to this lady, being that I know science is very vast and, and no one person can come on the radio and remember and speak about everything at one time. But as a psychiatrist, maybe she should notice because I was taken aback years ago from Ms. Malcolm was on the radio and I had called as a non pundit was she familiar about the objective mirror cognition test or cognitive test? And she didn't know about it. So now that the public is hearing my voice, you know, one of the things I've learned because I have children in my sixth, early in my fifth, late fifties. So what I think I realized was the objective mirror or the a mirror cognition test. They said when you hold the child up in the front of the mirror, he should be able to acknowledge himself uh, at a particular age, a uh, particular at least from six months and up. Mom, am I, am I correct, Mom? I don't know. Hello? Yes, hello. Yeah. What yeah. I'm saying is they're saying that when you hold a child in the front of the mirror, one of the ways to detect mental, mental illness, because one of my questions to you is, is there any data on the amount of uh, mental uh, disabilities that are in, being incurred during childbirth? You know, the longer the child takes to come to, to the birth process, then it deals, deals to brain damage. So what I'm saying is, does this happen? Do you see this? Do you guys see this a lot? Where children are uh, born... Uh, have developed mental uh, disabilities from the complications in birth, et cetera. And then is it wise for me to say on air that people, ch- people should check their child with a mirror test to see if were before that age, when you see they noticing themselves in the mirror. I do this, I did this because I know he has a whole uh, plethora of vaccines he has to, to take. So I just wanted to make sure that everything was normal and way, way, way. 
Wow. But, but psychiatry carries a lot of power with it, Doc, in which you can declare someone insane, and then he could be incarcerated without his will. This is what I'm afraid about. Wow. And being that I know the history of psychiatry, at one point in time, arithmetic learning disorder was considered a mental disease. And we know about uh, Benjamin Rush and the primitive ways of treating mental disease. And as a result 52, of let me let her answer before we get out of here. We got one second. I can let her answer uh, this I'm real quick. Call back out okay. Okay. Right. okay, thanks, man. Okay, so he started to talk about the objective mirror cognitive test and where children will be able to identify themselves. Do you know anything about that? I, I am not aware of that at all. Sorry. Okay, okay. Well, essentially what he's saying is that it, should it be something, because old people will tell you things like, don't put your baby in front of the mirror. You don't put the baby in front of the mirror just yet. But he's saying that there should come a point where the child, uh, almost like, oh, Lord, with the psychologist, with, with the, psych, uh, the, the, pediatric, the pediatrician call it, right? There are strategic times and dispensations yes. where the children have specific motor functions. And they would say, at this age, the child should be able to do this yes. and hold this and stand like this and talk like this or teething yes. and dribbling, so forth and so on. And he's actually asking, in my view, uh, whether or not there should be an age when the child can recognize his or herself and be able to say, okay, this is me, this is my face, so forth and so on. So I am, I... I know that there are certain milestones that children are supposed to meet, but my pediatrics was years and years and years ago, so I cannot remember them. Um, that, that question would be better for a pediatrician, so I cannot answer that. I can, though, speak to, because he did mention uh, trauma. In, in childbirth and, and leading to mental illness. So, for example, one of the theories about uh, schizophrenia and the development of schizophrenia is that uh, there would have been some damage done to the brain during childbirth, and that is a theory um, that, that that can possibly... Has that presented data? We, now, we do not have data, unfortunately, in the Bahamas, but there has been some data to support that, uh, you know, internationally, but we do not have uh, local data. You're going to come back and sit with me again, or you can send somebody else? Because I enjoy this, and I won't be able to stretch this out further. Uh, I got to find out more and more I am, I am willing to come back when I, am, when I am when 100%, I am percent yes, I can get physically the healthy. $8,000 for Buckley, so I'll get you some. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is none other than Dr. Rashida Brown Clark being able to talk to us. She's a psychiatrist over there at Doctors Hospital. I've been doing this thing for 15 years. I want to thank you so very kindly for being able to sit with us. That was Doctors Hospital. Our, I want to thank you guys. Going to take a commercial break and get right back after this. Thank you. Thank you. The foundation. The foundation. Your health is your wealth. Prioritize it. This Men's Health Month at Doctors Hospital with comprehensive primary care and specialist screening. Book your appointment now. Attention pizza lovers, Markle's Prince Charles has the deal of the summer for you. Head in and order a mouth-watering large one-topping pizza for just $10. You heard right, just $10. Call in or order online and pick up in restaurant today. This amazing carryout offer is available for a limited time and only at Markle's Prince Charles. This is a deal you don't want to miss because everything's better with Marcos. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. The best athletes in the Bahamas will be on display at the B3A's Kids Athletics Invitational Junior and Senior National Championships, June 20th, General Thomas A. Robinson Track and Field Stadium. Stephen Gardner, Devin Charlton, Shawnee Milo Weibo, and so many more. The juniors are vying for the opportunity to represent the Bahamas at the World Under-20 Championships. And the seniors are gunning to qualify for the Paris Olympic Games, which are fast approaching. And our athletes are looking to get on the road to Paris. The meet gets on the way at 4 p.m. on Wednesday, June 26th, and Thursday, June 27th, and at 5 p.m. on Friday, June 28th. Gates open at 3 p.m. daily and tickets can be purchased for as low as $20 at the original Thomas A. Robinson Track and Field Stadium, the B3A's Kids Athletics Invitational Junior and Senior National Championships, June 26 to 28 at the original Thomas A. Robinson Stadium. You don't want to miss this one. 
Great news! Ron's Electric Motors' new location on Cowpen Road, right next to Island Luck, is open Saturdays and Sundays. So for those needing repairs on electric motors, generators, welding machines, water pumps, battery chargers, electric lifts, transformers, and power tools, Ron's Cowpen Road location can have you up and running on weekends. Don't forget, you can still visit Ron's Electric Motors on Wolf Road and Claridge Road, and now Ron's new location on Cowpen Road. Dial 356-0249 or 323 Two six seven. Do you have uncontrollable debt? Are you ready to make that move to Fidelity for a stress-free future? These loans have a built-in savings plan that pays you unbeatable interest. Ask about our debt consolidation loans today. Call 356-7764. Fidelity, we're good for you. Introducing Blissful Escapes in Paradise, a sanctuary of relaxation and rejuvenation. Step into a world of tranquility and let our experienced hands soothe your senses. Whether our luxurious massages, infrared sauna, or specialty body wraps, our treatments are designed to leave you a special offer for the month of June. We are featuring three special packages to pamper and spoil the amazing men in your life. Give us a call today at 327-BLISS. That's 327-2547. And indulge in a moment of serenity at Blissful Escapes in Paradise. Stay informed with the NASA Guide and your news delivered. Are you tired of chasing down the latest news? Why not have it delivered right to your doorstep? The NASA Guardian is now offering an unbeatable home delivery service. Special subscription rates. Three months, just $44.80. Six months, only $79.52. One year, an amazing value at $143.36. Your daily news fix all year round. Don't miss out on this opportunity to keep up with the latest in local and international news, sports, business, and entertainment. Subscribe today. Call us at 302-2360 or 302-2353. Our friendly staff is waiting to assist you with your subscription. The Nassau Guardian, we've got the news you need. Don't wait. Call now. Foundation. The foundation. The foundation. The foundation. 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 The foundation. The foundation. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM radio. Howard Granted, your company, top of the hour, being able to have a great conversation with none other than Doctors Hospital. Really grateful for the opportunity to be able to talk about that for Men's Health Month. We're looking forward to that on uh, next week, Thursday, and uh, continuing to be able to do that to really be able to get men in shape from a mental standpoint, physically and otherwise, to be able to participate in our society. Now, we're talking yet again. After you then get in shape, get your mind, your spirit, and everything together, you need to be able to get that in short. Talk to me as we continue to be able to do that. Family Guardian Insurance and Agents, right? Do we go FG Insurance Agents and Brokers now, or do we say Family Guardian? I'm not. Well, I should be say FGIAB. F-G-I-A-B. Okay, go. we got the acronyms in the house. We're going to talk about these things. And Fun Fair is going to be Saturday, June 22nd, 2024, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Free entry. All the information's in there. To talk to us about it, we have Krasia. 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 Krasia Brown and Alicia Kalman to be able to talk to us about that. Let me introduce yourself and let persons know who you are. I am Krasia Brown. I am the Senior Customer Service Administrator at F-G-I-A-B. And Alicia Kalmer, and I'm the senior manager for FGIAB and FG Mortgages. Okay, this is exciting stuff. I want to talk to you guys about that. What can we expect when we get out there on June 22nd? I know this is summer, uh, the beginning of summer. A lot of persons are going out there and trying to be able to get themselves prepared before school starts in September. So let me know some of the things that you can be able to expect as we move forward and being able to see this on, um, is that Saturday coming? Saturday coming. Saturday coming. Okay, Correct. go ahead. So this Saturday, June 22nd, <clears throat> from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., we're going to be offering the annual, our annual trade show and fun fair. So you can expect us to have, like I said, we were telling you earlier, we have a 
kitty blankets off of the kitty corner. They can get their face painted. They can get popcorn, nachos, go on a bouncing castle while you visit all of our vendors. We have food and drink vendors. We also have mortgages, which will That's be That's a lot there. of work you're doing right there, you know. Hmm. Drop your kitties to the, you Drop know, your kitties you're, off. you're cheering wild, you know. Yeah. No, that's okay. They'll be summertime. jumping up and down all over the people cheering. No, they want to mm-hmm. spend all your money in the summer. Drop, okay, so, yeah. So drop them off. <laughs> well, okay, keep them. <laughs> Two days. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the mortgage department, which will be out there if you want to you want to get pre-approved for your mortgages. We also going to have fam- Commonwealth Bank out there to get pre-approved for the mortgage loans. Mm-mm. Car. For the car loan, sorry. Yeah. Um, we're going to have easy car sales, so you can come out and get those electric vehicles, um, test drive. Also, executive motors for, if you, like I was saying earlier, if you feel in your pocket, you want to get a BMW and drive a Beamer. Like my, my man, Jovia, she's driving X5, mm-hmm. so she bossy. Mm-hmm. Everybody know your business. In the X5, I see I blow it. What's up, girl? <laughs> so you feel in your pocket, you could, you know, go over to um, executive motors. We also have um, PTC that's going to be out there. We have raffle prizes. Once you sign up to our booth, once you sign up online, you're able to, eligible to get a prize. We're giving out all kinds of things. Y'all got about 30 vendors out here. Let me yeah. just see if we can run through some things yeah. now. Mm-hmm. If you want to come out there, you want to find out from BTC, you want to find out from uh, uh, Car- um, Commonwealth Bank, Easy mm-hmm. Car Sales, MGM. Mm-hmm. This is construction agency. Oh, yes. You yes. can be able to get your stuff mm-hmm. laid out, and mm-hmm. they can be able to take you up from start and, to and finish. And some of the, our vendors are giving you discounts when you come out there. And you get discounts yes. also. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, you can't beat that. And also, right. you can be able to find out. I see that you have some realtors out there who's going to be mm-hmm. coming out there also, mm-hmm. right? Uh, 10 AK one up right and BTC Baracus. you also have um, um, uh, Doctor's Hospital which I think is unique yeah. to be able to ensure that you have all this uh, you yeah, touching so all you need to make sure they're you doing a blood, blood drive right have a good meal because we're going to have a blood drive out there as well with Doctor's Hospital really yeah you're giving people vitamin out afterwards yeah they yeah of course they vitamin you sit in the AC you lounge in the they chair they don't give Guinness no more only vitamin out now remember one time ago you could get you gotta make sure you drive safe you blood low give me one you know I don't drink baby but my blood low give me one Guinness grab me in the stomach right so you got a lot of these places out there I, we buy you sell mm-hmm. CBS is going to be out there CBS is going to be out everything there. out there man this is good stuff so this is well encompassing so when we come out there uh, from 10 a.m. to about 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Mm-hmm. we can touch all these things in our life if we've right. been having this kind of a casual conversation post pandemic child you know I really need to find a piece of property right. I got to build my house I got to mm-hmm. do this I got to do that and we have so, our attorneys there if you want legal advice for to you buying attorneys your home. Out there too? Yes. might have caught you there the, um, this attorneys is going to be a one stop mm-hmm. shop Howard oh my god when we want when we, when, when you so you need there, to get somebody yes. ready to- <laughs> <laughs> we have food and drinks for the adults as well yeah really yeah mm-hmm. so batter girls they're going to be out there they're famous for their comfort of batter we have fries with benefits that's going to be out there as well so you want your your burger your fries your chicken wings that kind of thing we also have five ocean beverages that's going to be offering mocktails and cocktails so if what's you- a mocktail you know what a mocktail is if you don't drink <laughs> you but you still want that little fizz <laughs> Get it sounds like a Baptist drink. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, you know I don't drink, but give me a piece of yeah. that rum cake. Right? Need this stuff. <laughs> and we have dessert. So sticky bun, craving a cookie. After you eat, you'd wash it down. You get something nice and sweet to eat. This is good, man. So where is going to be located? Um, um, on uh, Where you see you guys going to be? On Family Garden Corporate Center on East Bay Street and, and Village, Village Road. Road. That's across from the Montague Ramp. Oh, right there. Mm-hmm. Y'all got enough space? Plenty. Parking is going to be on the back, on so you you enter it, you get to the parking from the village. Yeah, but when you side. say things like this, free, everybody come in and now so That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We they can, can accommodate come. everybody. So we have a lot out. of space. Everybody come in. It's going to be a beautiful thing, guys. I want you guys to be able to make because I think it's time for us to do this. I think uh, I, they, we're in a hurricane season right now. Mm-hmm. Right, a lot of persons want to know more information about hurricane. Definitely. They want to know about um, uh, hurricane insurance for their homes. How do we be able to get those things? Are there going to be conversations like that? People that they can talk to to find Definitely. out more information. That's FGIAB. That's that's what you do. Yes, we okay, are the home and motor department, and so you come out there and you want to talk about home insurance, what you need for your home insurance, for motor insurance, what you need to protect yourself. All the family guardian uh, divisions will be out there, so. You want life insurance? We'll have our life insurance department out there. You, we'll even have our HR department doing recruiting. So 
It's going to you be might even get a job. You, you might even get, get a, a job. job. Listen, you come out there and say, listen, I need a car. I ain't got no money. <laughs> but here's my resume. There you go. So I get a job and a car at the same time. One mm. shot. You don't need shot. to stop it. That's a one, you don't need one to stop, stop it. shop, Howard. So we get everything one time. That's everything. right. On I a Saturday it. at your leisure. On Sunday. Free entry. And they're watching you churn. And they can watch you churn. Mm. My and they got security watching your car. Mm-hmm. So you get something to eat, mm-hmm. something to drink, something nice and cool. Cocktail or mocktail. Uh-huh. Something nice and Up sweet. Up to you. Nice and cool. Find out about your insurance, mm-hmm. your life insurance, mm-hmm. all these particular things because you might want to get married also. Pre approval mm-hmm. for a mortgage as well. You're pre approved for a mortgage. Mm-hmm. All these things are going to happen at the same time. And right. you might just get a job. And a job. Yeah. You can't beat that. Nope. How you can beat that? Mm-mm. I, guys, I, I'm serious. I, I want you guys to be able to go out and find out more information about these things because this is very, very, and then I make light of it, but this is truly uh, create a one-stop shop. I think in our society, especially how it's so difficult to be able to move around now. So I just want to say that I'm from Eight Mile Rock. It takes me 15 minutes to get to Port Lucaya. <laughs> that is 40 miles away, longer than Nassau. You understand well, me? I would just be an electric guy. That's electric car? It's one of them electric cars <laughs> going fast like that. Woo! I had to work. You know what I'm saying? I had to work in Grand Bahama. Right? <laughs> Six o'clock in the morning. I didn't have money on the road. They're already young. Be but 15 minutes it takes me to get 38, 40 miles away. Mm-hmm. In Nassau, I could see my house. But you can't get can't there. You can't get away. An hour and a half later. <laughs> <laughs> Where you live? I ain't right around the corner, I, baby. Literally. I can see you. I can, can see you. I can see you, you, I can see you right? Huh? But I'm saying that to say that because of this sort of congestion, especially on specific days in Nassau, it may be difficult to kind of move around. Mm-hmm. And it's very important that you can be able to see all these vendors in one spot to get to uh, sort of your objective that you're looking for, whether that is home uh, purchasing, whether that's life insurance, all these particular things. And then a lot of persons, especially younger persons who are growing up now and kind of matriculating into to formal society, they don't necessarily know to get a house, you can need life insurance. Mm-hmm. For you to be able to get a house, you can need these particular things. Talk to them about that. Yes. So we are going to be there. So what, here's, here's what we want you to do. You're going to go to the FG and mortgages booth first. You're going to get pre-approved so you know how much money you don't. You're not going to go to the real estate agents and waste time. And be big eye Because you already know this is what you qualify for. So once you've done that... Tell them right now. Tell them the first thing. You got to qualify. You, ha- you have to qualify. People don't know that. No, yeah. You, you Charles, have- I got this so, so we're going to give them pre-qualification <laughs> there on the spot. So now you have an idea of what your budget is for what you're shopping for. And once you've done that, then you can go to One Oak or Kiki Varakas, and they're going to see what they have to fit your budget. So for the pre-qualification, is this just a casual conversation for you? Ah, well, how much money you make? Well, we ask you, yeah, there's a question. Or do you want me to bring a job letter? You ain't got to go to No, you ain't got to do that now. Not just yet? No, no not, okay, not just good. yet. So you're going to, we ask you uh, about five or six questions. How long you been working? Yes. Six months. Yeah. How, how, how much, much you making? How much debt check? Two hundred and sixty dollars a How much money you given? What um, you want? Okay, how much, how much money you given? Four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> Well, the ain't getting that yet. <laughs> <laughs> How you know they rent the place and they follow up with furniture bus? I've been, uh, furniture right bus. off the top. Okay. I've been working for six months. I make $260 a week and I want a $450,000 property. Mm. How you about your big eye? You say, well, I'm a big eye. Yeah. A big body too. Yeah. I got to reel it in. Just make sure. Give me all the things I need. Yeah, we're going to have a good conversation with you. We're yeah, because to, sometimes we, people are not necessarily yeah, sitting yeah, in reality. And that's what we do at Family right. Garden. We give you good financial advice. Right and sometimes you need somebody to tell you Pull outside you down, your parents the or, your, or your friends. You need somebody to tell you that this is what it is. No, this is what you want. Tell them to do decency. This is what it is. This is what you could afford. What tell you to say, we got to do in decency and order. A decency and Let them know. <laughs> Let's be decent. This has got to be decent. Man, you sure I can't get that? No, sir. The $260 that you're making every no. week ain't going to help you. Okay. So now after you've got pre- pre-qualified, then you go and you find what it is that you want. Then the mortgage department says, okay, this is what you're going to need to pay, but we need you to go over to FGIAB and get your home insurance quote. So you're going to come to us, we give you a home insurance quote, and you're able to take that to the mortgage department, and they'll be able to work everything out for you, what your budget is and everything. And at FG Insurance, you don't have to pay your premium up front. Mm. We let you pay in installments. 
This is excellent. Yeah, he's good people. That's the best thing. We are like. good people. That's what we like. Yes. I can put this something down on the bill. Mm-hmm. You ain't gonna cut me off. No. I, you can put. I can put something down. Yeah. Okay. Praise God. Nicole, like let me this. just give you a little reminder. Hey, don't, don't forget, forget that little thing. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. Hold on, hold on. No, let's get we this straight. Hey, that's that's the that's the third time you call today. You didn't call me three times to tell you coming tomorrow. I am that villain. I do the calling. <laughs> Jesus God. Okay, good. But, mm-hmm. but you're decent though. You're like, because some people is hounding you for them. Listen, Mr. Grant, I didn't see you take that money or that thing yesterday. You know you didn't put nothing in there, Mr. Grant. <laughs> Rowan, I said, Mr. Is this your money or is the people money? You can stop. <laughs> Let's talk about these things though, guys. I want to take this quick commercial break. I want you to participate. I want to be able to talk about these things. They're going to be here for a little while longer to talk about some things that's going on. We're here talking about none other than FGIAB. That's it. F-G-I-A-B, I quick like that, you know, trade show <laughs> and fun fair that's going to be happening on Saturday, June 22nd, 2024 from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. They got everything laid out when we get back. We'll find out more insp- uh, information right after this. Ladies and gentlemen, King Law National Parkinson Foundation presents its 24th charity gala, Saturday, June 29, 2024 at the Grand Ballroom Grand Hyatt Bahama Convention Center. And here to set the mood right and the night tight is none other than international artist Johnny Gill. Also the Defense Force Band and the Rhythm Band. You can purchase your tickets at Carrie's Fabric on Mackey Street. Our signature starts Marathon Road, cocktails at 6.45 p.m. and dinner at 7.45 p.m. And then you can have your fill of Johnny One Gill. One thing is true, God has blessed me, Love. turn on your heart. You try to rest, go with the best, for all your printing needs, there ain't no one better, no. For posters and banners, magazines and flyers, for window decals, reading cards and newsletters. No job too big and there's no job too small. You name it, we can print it. Just give us a call. Let print masters bring your masterpiece to life. Located in the Nassau Guardian Building, telephone 302 2361. Now let me see now. 326 ETIC. Hello? Hello, this this epic, e- Eckerd battery. This Miss Bueller from around the corner. I hear you are selling tires now on Wolf Road too. Praise the Lord, it's about time. I live Fox Hill and Fire Trail, it's too far. That ain't all, they open Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. On Sunday and holiday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. My brother Sam, he's a hacker and he could go right there and get fix up. Call us at 326 Epic. We ship also to the family island. Introducing Blissful Escapes in Paradise, a sanctuary of relaxation and rejuvenation. Step into a world of tranquility and let our experienced hands soothe your senses. Massages, infrared sauna, or specialty body wraps, our treatments are designed to leave you feeling refreshed and revitalized. As a special offer for the month of June, we are featuring three special packages to pamper and spoil the amazing men in your life. Give us a call today at 327-BLISS. That's 327-2547. And indulge in a moment of serenity at Blissful Escapes in Paradise. Doctors Hospital has reimagined primary care. We have invested to improve our health system, ensuring that accessible, affordable, world-class clinical care is closer to you. We understand that your relationship with a primary care provider shapes the foundation of your overall health. Our new modern primary care facilities are where critical diagnoses and true personalized treatment begins. With locations across New Providence, Grand Bahama, and Exuma, we invite you to experience the Doctors Hospital difference. Book your next appointment at clinics.doctorshospital.com. The foundation. 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 
And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM radio, Howard Grant and your company. We are here on Small Business Thursday talking about some great things that's going to be happening this weekend. This weekend, June 22nd, 2024, Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., Family Guardian Corporate Center has everything laid out. East Bay Street and Village Road. Family Guardian Insurance Agents and Brokers, F-I-A-B, F. G- F G I. My God, I go on slow again. My God, <laughs> F G I A B. My God, I got all the letters today, right? <laughs> so we got the acronym laid out. We want you to be able to do that. We're here with none other than some beautiful people to being able to talk to us about these things. I won't pronounce your name again. Hold on, don't tell Chris-ia. me. Right? Chrisia. Chrisia, Chrisia <laughs> Brown, and Alicia Coleman just been being able to talk about uh, talk to us about these things. Now, listen, uh, I wanted to go step by step to these things because a lot of persons take these things for granted. They don't understand that this is all encompassing. They don't understand that you can't just cut up with the girl. You can't just uh, spend two hundred and fifty dollars on an engagement ring. You are married a girl, but you don't have no other steps to take. There are steps to be taken out here. You can't just cut up on slack. Nope. The daddy ain't into that. Mm-mm. You need to find some place to put his daughter. And it can't be in somebody's apartment. Mm-mm. Even if we start there, we mm-hmm. got to move on. Yeah. Now. Right. My God, the woman already have tree churn for you. Oh, I know. You need life insurance. Yeah, have them she pregnant insurance. right now. You keep asking, why she? What happened, baby? You puked for the first three mornings. That's morning sickness. She pregnant now with three children mm-hmm. in a one-bedroom apartment. You need a oh, house. Boy. Today, talk to me. How do we find out more about this? How do we find out whether or not we qualify right where we are financially and otherwise to be able to get one of these beautiful homes? Talk to me about it. Okay, so you're going to visit our mortgages booth. You're going to get pre-approved for your home. You don't need to bring anything. You're going to fill out a questionnaire. You're going to find out what you can what you can afford. Once you've done that, you're going to visit one of our realties which will be Kiki Varakas and Co. or One Oak. Find out, you know, what properties they have available for you, what fits your budget, and then you come over to us and get your home insurance. You also need life insurance. You're going to have our life insurance agents out there to find out how much coverage you need to cover the home. And then... um, you may need some medical insurance Yeah, you may need medical. You may want to cover the whole family. So you can talk about your life insurance and get your home insurance done. Mm Mm-hmm. And then you're good to go. I'll be straight. straight. Now, we could do this on Saturday. And by Monday, y'all could start working on my paperwork to formalize this situation. Your, yes. Once you have all your ducks in a row, you start signing your I stuff won't, on suppose Monday. Suppose I want a car to go with that. Now, if you want a car, we have no problem with that. So you're going to go I over. want a house and a car. You're mm-hmm. going to go and you're going to look at all those beautiful cars. I love this woman. That executive <laughs> motors will have out there. From the low end to the high end. So mm-hmm. you have... Your Suzuki's and your Hyundai's, you have your Lexus. Which are extremely affordable right now. But yes. We ain't talking about these people's business. You could talk about them on Saturday, but I'm saying to you, they are affordable. They are. That's why we like that. I see some nice Suzuki yeah. this year. And the Hyundai, they're making some nice sleek cars. And they're good on gas. Yes. You ain't got to worry they about got, those they things. They have the hybrid, they have the electric, mm-hmm. they have them all over I there. I really didn't ask my wife if she wanted one of them. Yeah. I did. Yeah. You but I mean, I didn't drive. come out to y'all. Easy car sales can be out there. You can test drive Get everything on it. Yeah. Test drive your, your electric vehicle for free. They nice, Howard. I see that. Because you know you like driving fast in 15 mm-hmm. minutes, 40 miles. <laughs> no, I can't do that now. So you'll be dying. <laughs> <laughs> like, from fly, I can't do that now. So <laughs> I see the small cars. Let's do it. Why? <laughs> That's their note. <laughs> we got to pray for them. We got to pray for them. We got to pray for them. No, they call them the right? small car gang. They just know they just open up the little turn and lane. They need yeah. to stop. They need to stop. I can't do that, right? But I, I like this. I like the fact that we got everything laid out, right? Even if you're in the market, you can get your house. Life insurance, you can be able to identify those things, even if you want to be able to, if you're one of these hands-on persons and you don't necessarily want to be able to build your house or purchase a house, but you like to take a piece of property and be able to develop that on your own with you and your family and kind of do this the traditional way, the way that your their father showed you to do it, you can come in and get one piece of property. You can come out there and still have a good conversation with One Oak to talk about um, uh, the properties that you have available to talk about those things. Who else you got? Uh, you said Kiki Varakas, right? Kiki Varakas and Co., yes. You got Kiki Varakas and Co. You may even have a home that you need renovated. Um, MGM will be out there. So if you need renovation done, um, you know it's the hot season. It's the summer. We have Cool Tech coming out. You know, they're the AC they're the AC, um, they, they specialize in AC. So if you need, you can you get have a home. Yeah, well, you get your AC, you get your ductless. We got to keep you cool. It's hot, Howard. It's it very hot. hot. 
You telling me? I just feel like I row in every day when I go outside. <laughs> you, know, you know, you just get hot sometimes. You feel like, okay, row coming on. Cut the AC on quickly. I, I feel like it cuts, it's cut, <laughs> cut the thing on quick, right? No, I, I'm telling you, you can have everything out here. And so you, you also got BTC coming out there. BTC, yeah. yeah. So you can be, oh my, so hold on, hold on, hold on. To whatever your objective is, are they going to be telling us about what they offer in their in their particular capacities and businesses? Yeah, they'll be, they'll be telling us, we're telling you what they offer. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's a little bit of everything. So, oh, we're also going to have to spin the wheel. So once you visit all of the vendors, you have to go to Free. all the vendors. Mm -hmm. Free house. <sighs> You can't. No, hold you on, know, I tried, I'm trying to get oh, to that. Hold on, because I can be there. But you're free. But you're putting on the wheel. We're we giving you stuff. You gotta come. Tanks. We tanks. want big tanks, though. We don't want to let you. Got big tanks. You got big tanks. Yes. Okay. Good. Please, as God, we coming on there. We coming on there. You, go on, on the, you go on the website. And you fill out an entry for a raffle contest. We're giving away gas vouchers. We're giving raffle? away food vouchers. We're giving away spa gift certificates. We're doing this big highway. We're giving away food vouchers. You just uh, make sure you are there to redeem your prize. At 2 o'clock. So you can't get it if you're in there? No. no. So at any time we between tonight, to today, and... I was there, but I had to leave. You know how what you got to come... So, you see, this is what you call planning. So just so we're planning your life and your future, you got to plan your day. Ladies and gentlemen, plan your day. <laughs> Make sure you be able to come out on Saturday. Listen, and uh, I don't know if y'all got no Kong Saturday, but you ain't far. No, if but you we got some got Kong, Kong Saturday, Saturday. You got Kong Fritters out there. We got Kong Fritters, Bada Girls. Got Bada Girls out there. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, make it a beautiful weekend right there. Uh, it's going to be at uh, Family Guardian Corporate Center, East Bay and Village Road. East Bay and Village Road. That is a beautiful area uh, for you to be able to come in. The, the kids, even after that, you can be able to take them right across the street to be able to play and swing. The beach is right there. This is a beautiful weekend for you and your family. So guess what? Put on your little trunks. Put on your short pants. You ain't got to put on no long pants. Don't put on a suit. You think you're going to meet the people. Calm down. Put on your, your, the old fellas like the bush jacket. Put on your bush jacket. <laughs> put your leg out. Come out there. Enjoy yourself. Have a beautiful time. Be able to find out more information about these steps that you can take. Get your food, your entertainment. There's a kid's corner. Please remember there's a kid's corner. Don't leave your children home. My oh, God. Bring them. My baby cried this morning. She won't go with me. Summertime, you know. Yeah, it, but a two-year-old. She won't go with me. They can get their face painted for free. Oh, my God. Face painting. Yes. Mm -hmm. My baby's like this. See there? Okay, come on, guys. Get your face paint. Y'all can do did somebody ducking in the water, too? No, we have no dunk tank. Y'all ain't got no dunk tank? No, you want to keep it up. <laughs> I want to. Make, <laughs> make sure you come over here, guys. It's going to be the trade show and fun fair. Trade show and fun fair. All your home, motor, and health needs all at one event, and they are not cutting any corners at all, mm -hmm. food, entertainment, like I said, kids' corner, prizes, vendor presentations, exclusive discounts, and getaways, but you got to be in the place. What's the website that we go to to find out more information as it relates to... Um, um, that is www.fgiabagentsandbrokers.com. Let's don't forget to visit the website to enter to win the raffle. fgiabagentsandbrokers.com? FGI agents and brokers. And brokers FGI agents. And, if and it's brokers. easy, you can just go on Family Guardian's Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And you can... There's a link. Link there, yes. yes. Okay, okay. So make sure you go on Family Guardian Facebook page. There's a link you can find out on inf information. Now, you mm -hmm. say if they can need to be able to, to set up for the raffle or anything, right. they can go on that yes. mm -hmm. and just check it out. Okay, mm -hmm. good. So guys, go please there. Please, 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 both of all, check this stuff out. All the information's in there. If you want to find out that between today and tomorrow, 396-1490. That's 396-1490. I'm sure somebody could be able to find you, give you more information about that because I know that these persons have a tremendous amount of questions. They got everything going on. Any, now, you didn't tell me about no entertainment as it relates to singing and things like that. You don't have anybody coming out there no, sing? No, we're going to have a DJ that'll be playing and, a, and yeah. Really? We'll have so a radio shake station a leg. there as yeah. well. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. if you have too much mocktails, my God, <laughs> they might be in the center dancing. Uh, that's, you got a little dance for us, Anna? Yeah, of course. Oh, God, you're going to have a good time tomorrow. This is going to yes. be, please, don't bring no long pants out to the people's place. <laughs> Wear a nice, pretty sundress. Get yourself prepared. Mothers, come out there with your big satchel. You all know what? The, the same bag you just carry to the movies to put your little popcorn in. It's, she laughed because you all know what they're talking about. <laughs> the same bag you just carry to the movies. Say, no, 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 this is for my jacket. Lies and deceit. Bring yeah. the big bag out so you can be able to take your pamphlets, take the information pop mm -hmm. those things in there as you 
you walk around from one person to another, take your fritters, put it in there also, because <laughs> yeah. you're sure you're going to need the fritters. <laughs> Make sure you do that. In short, treat it like a beach day. Bring your family out, have a beautiful time, put your tantan on. I showed it's going to have uh, nice cool spots from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Free entry. You ain't got to pay nothing for that. It ain't cost you nothing to be able to get into these things and get access to exclusivity to understand what we have and exclusive discounts and giveaways. You want to be, see your place in the place this weekend, Saturday, June 22nd, 2024 from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. out there at the Family Guardian Corporate Center on East Bay Street and Village Road. If you want to find out more information, go to the Facebook page, Family Guardian to link that. Uh, anything else you want to put on the thing? We have to put a plug in there for PayGuard. So PayGuard is our payment portal because, you know, Ooh. everybody's moving away from using cash. So you can also sign up for PayGuard um, out there. Um, even if you want to, let's say, you want to pay your home or your... PayGuard. Your home or your motor premium while you're out there. Once you've signed up for PayGuard, you could pay a PayGuard. We could print... Really? We don't want you riding around, riding dirty. Mm -mm. You're trying to you keep know, at 40 miles an hour for 15 minutes. Decent and in order. If, if, they, if they're in the note, they're probably riding dirty, ladies. <laughs> They need to stop and we're not going to fight you. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the show today. That's, that's this um, uh, particular segment. I'm grateful to be able to talk with, with you ladies about this. Now, don't be no strangers. Y'all come down here, not only when you have an event. We'd love to be able to talk about what you guys got going on and continue to be able to talk about those things because I think it's important that people know, especially young people, like I said, who are now formalizing to become a part of society. They need to know there's some right. steps that you got to take. You know that you have to take steps. Mm, they right. need to cuss the government. The government don't provide nothing for nobody. The government say, okay, we're going to give you $15,000 lots. Well, that's good. Let me go buy one. Uh, you don't qualify. You need to know how do you qualify? How do you prepare yourself? And maybe that could put you in a position to save something, mm -hmm, right. to save yourself and be able to put some things together and make those things happen. But take some time out and do these things formally. Guys, if you're out there and you want to know more about this stuff, it's going to be Saturday, June 22nd, that this Saturday coming. From 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., you can find out all the information. Shout out to all those persons who are being able to do those things as it relates to uh, PayGuard, as it relates to all the vendors that you have. Shout out to all those particular vendors. Uh, next time you'll do this, call me, eh? Call okay. I, can, I just do this live, you know. Yeah? I can just do this live. Oh, so you can have us live on Facebook. I can do this live on Facebook and run it through your page. <laughs> Praise God. Next time. <laughs> I'm going to go fight you, right? Guys, we're all here. F-G-I-A-B. F-G-I-A-B. I see you trying to tell you all the acronyms. I <laughs> <laughs> trying to get everything that's family got in here with us. Guys, we're going to take this quick commercial break. We're going to thank you so very kindly. We're going to be right back after this. The foundation. Tired of banks forcing you to use technology to bank the way they want you to? Your convenience is important. So no matter what your banking needs, Commonwealth Bank's friendly staff are always available in branch for that personal one-on-one -on -one service. But when you choose technology, our online and mobile banking app offers you state-of-the-art functionality. The choice is yours. Commonwealth Bank. Bank the way you want. Looking for great device deals and offers this summer? Look no further! Alive has special discounts on the latest smartphones, ring devices, and accessories. Plus, as an Alive customer, you can expect exclusive yet extra offers and rewards, which means even more value for your money. We're talking more data, prizes, and surprises. Upgrade with us and experience the perfect summer with Alive in-store or at BeAlive.com forward slash deal. Bahamas Liquidation and Auction Center, your friendly and affordable vendor one-stop shop, where you can get all of your groceries at the best prices in town. Don't believe us? Find us on Market Street in the red, white, and black building south of Chesapeake Road. We don't stock anything, we just buy deals, so you better get there first. Call us today at 6980123 or what's up 557-2522 or follow us on Facebook and Instagram for daily updates. Remember, always make us your first stop. Foundation. Foundation. The 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 foundation. 
foundation. The foundation. The foundation. The foundation. The foundation. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM radio, Howard Grant and your company, The Foundation. Beautiful show today. I'm grateful to all those persons, FGIAB, trade show, and fun fair, just sat with us being able to talk about all the stuff that they got going on on Saturday. So uh, if you want to be able to be a part of that, you got to do that. I was just telling them, I didn't know some things, man. I, I think many of us don't really say that. I'm talking about those young persons who've just started to really be able to tune into what's happening from a, a socio-political, socio-economic standpoint to really know exactly what's happening in our society. I didn't know. Can I say this to you? I did not know as a young person. I got married at 22 years old, right? I loved the woman. I wanted to be with the woman forever. I want the woman to be old with me. I want when years come. This is how I thought. I wanted when years come. Uh, and we ain't got no teeth, or she got to put her teeth in the jaw. Notice I said her teeth, because, you know, I'm going to keep mine. <laughs> Let's be decent about this, right? So, <clears throat> and, we, and we trying to be able to hear what each other say, and this is, this is the, uh, the sort of the image in my head. As we're holding hands, after we could recall about the years of cussing, the years of trial and tribulation, the years of uh, growing pains and growing up our children, this is how I imagine, and the reason why I got married young. I wanted to be able to, I just, this is, this is how it, I wanted to build with her. I wanted to build a future. I wanted to start it from the bottom. Now we hear conversation in 40 years and 50 years, God spare our lives. I wanted to be able to say those things. And I thought that, and I know I'm, uh, that she's the person that I want to be able to spend my life with. I made that decision at, at, as, a, as a young man. I didn't know I had to get life insurance. My mother them never talked to me about this. I never, they didn't know I had to get uh, health insurance. I didn't know about medical insurance. I did, the closest we come to a conversation about medical insurance is when somebody falls ill and then we're trying to figure out who could sell the cheapest wings so we could be able to get a sauce, uh, the little sauce out thing, right? Uh, who can sell the, the, the steak where we could get cheap steak from? Who could participate and contribute those things for closest that we got to formality and understanding these things? And that's the disadvantage that a lot of us have in our society, that we don't come up with this kind of a formality of understanding that there are steps to take in our society. There are formal steps that we take in terms of being able to, if you tell us about these formal steps, we will be conscious about the fact that we have to save our money. But you will never tell us about that. You never tell us about that, but Gucci just tell us about their shoes and their clothes all the time. The rappers just tell us for Gucci. We are consumed with the superficial aspect and the, the, the non-formal aspect of life. But you can't beat young children for that. You can't get mad at them. You can't cuss them for that. You have to realize that there's no formality from this particular standpoint. When there is a, a, a college fair, there should not only be college fair for grade 10, 11, 12, there should be other fairs. There should be a, a, um, an expose, just mere expose for you to understand formally what your responsibility is in society. Little young children don't know how to become a positive contributing member of society because no one ever said that to them. No one ever showed that to them if they didn't come from the household that does that. I got married at 20 and I wanted to get a house. Now keep in mind, we come from generation property in 8 Maroc. So I didn't got my generation property. I know I got to go through what mommy then went through. I'm telling you, I followed the same power question. This is what I remember. This is what we do. 
So you try to figure out what ace is something to me. Uh, and then you work in the hotel environment. So, you know, uh, if you go to the credit union, um, you have to save your money up to six months. And then whatever you save, you could get double your money in terms of loan. So if you get $6,000 that you save for six months, a thousand, you can do this. But at times you get to the six month and you could be able to borrow against the money. You could, you could borrow $12,000. This is what you learn in the hotel. Nobody tell you formally what the steps to take. Then you learn about credit card. After you send your money to the bank so much and the, the bank see you coming in so much for these things, the first thing, would you like a credit card? You don't know about no credit card. You don't know. You know how much money I owe these people when I was young? Jesus, you have no idea. Nobody educates us about these things. But they expect us to be contributing members of society. Oh, we can contribute properly and we get stressed right out. Because now we have debt. And that's only because of ignorance. And ignorance is only a lack of information, not of a lack of enthusiasm, not this kind of deliberate approach to be able to do something contrary. We just did not have the information. We didn't have it. Through years, and I struggled through the years, but can we talk like this and be real? It's time for these companies to make young people who, want, who they want to be contributing members of society who's going to be able to ensure that there's sustainability in their business. It's time for them to do educational expos like this and trade shows like this. I see some people different than me now. Watch me. I got married because I love the woman. These fellas is get married and women is get married because two of us together, our check could get us something. Oh my God, I can't get no amen. Yeah, because you wasn't making no money. You making $28,000 a year by yourself. You can't get nothing with that. I'm making $28,000 by myself. You can't get, but if we put our money with these two checks combined, <laughs> Captain Planet, we could save our life. Yeah, 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 yeah. We could do something like that. This is what we see in our society. We got to fix this. It is your responsibility to educate younger persons who are oblivious to what's happening in you. You have to be real. You can't fight the people and say, uh, there's only $500 in each. Well, what the hell am I saving the money for in my bank account? Let's boost this up. I need new tennis. I need something fresh. We get out this weekend to get wet. That's the society that we're living in. And they never really catch themselves until after 27, 28, 29. Sometimes very late. Now, they've racked up debt from the credit union. They've racked up debt from credit card bills. They've racked up debt in these particular spaces. And thank God we don't have a, um, a credit bureau now in the sense of being able to identify your credit score. Thank God your dependency is not your credit score because you mashed that up as a child, as a young, uh, as a young adult. And now when you really want to be able to formalize yourself, your credit score uh, in 700 like in the United States of America is 150. You can't get nothing with that, sir. In fact, you should give us the shirt off your back. Let's be decent. I see a telephone call coming through. Let me take this call. Caller, go ahead. Hey, hey what's up, Anton? What's going on? Paul as well. What's up? Right on, man. I'm, um, good afternoon, the donation. I, I see uh, you, you had a, well, what is it, small, there's small business Thursday, right? Small business Thursday, yeah, so we'll be talking about business today. Yeah, what what is that FGIA I based on that? What, what, what is that stand for? Now, this is uh, Family Guardian and Insurance Agents and Brokers. Oh, right. I wondered if it was Family Guardian. Yeah, Family Guardian and Insurance Agents and Brokers. I was in and out of the conversation, so yeah. I didn't get to hit, listen to what the abbreviation of the acronym was for. Yeah, they, but, they, uh, they have an event uh, on Saturday. Okay, all right, good. Uh, look, look now, Howard, that, that conversation right now, that's the one which you're having, this one right now, and it is not as limiting as you're putting it, Howard, although what you are saying is a part of the consideration, a great part of the consideration, education or the lack thereof and um, the lack of experience on behalf or on part of many, many guardians or parents and, and, and being unable to pass on knowledge to their, their uh, child or children to put them in a better position. Pardon me? I listen in radio. I read you. It's, it's, very, it's very important. However, Howard, 
what's an even bigger consideration? And I'm in a conversation right now, but there's a conversation in terms of um, um, cost of, of, of living in the country and, and access. Uh, that's a conversation that needs to broaden, broaden into those spectrums. And, and that could take a whole show because if you are following the trends of real estate in this country right now, Howard, um, um, versus 10 years ago versus 15 years ago, Howard, it's, it's virtually nearly impossible except you're coming from a well-to-do family or you have a mother or a father or a mother and father or a guardian or you run into some money to be able to afford real estate in this country today um, um, based on, forget about middle-class income, right? Because that won't even get it done for you, Howard, frankly speaking. you got to be slightly above the fray of middle-class income. This is why, no this, why this is why I pushed back when the Free National Movement came out under the former administration talking about uh, the project that they had for fifty thousand dollars on Prospect uh-huh. Ridge, I push back on mm-hmm. that because mm-hmm. when they their criteria was a young professional, right? Mm-hmm. Which is wild. That is absolutely bananas. It was right, too, right. it was too wild. It was too wild. It, it didn't frame that properly. There was no specificity. What do you mean, young mm-hmm. professional? A barber mm-hmm. is a young professional. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. A, a, a beautician is a young professional. Mm. Can a barber mm. or a beautician afford this? What are you What are you saying? Are you right. only thinking about doctors or lawyers? Right, right. Are you only right. thinking about these things? There's no form franchise, a significant subsector or a segment of your Not society. The greater. The, the greater. greater. Guess the greatest what? of the sector so, of our society. Based upon your language, you've the created... Franchise. Uh-huh. You've created this concept for a wider society, but based upon your language, this is only for a niche market. That's it. It's only no. for a few people who can no. be able to access this. And guess what? No. There no. were further conversations happening uh-huh. where people who had children off, right? This is uh-huh. the conversation that was happening behind the scenes. Right. People who got children off. Child, I got to get one of these pieces of property for my children right. when they come back. Right. So parents who are established, who had positions, who had yep. money, who had the yep. wherewithal, yep. they would get this there. And so now you disenfranchise yet again the young yep. professional. Yep. And so and so and so and so Howard, you know, what you what you are speaking to as a spinoff of what I'm speaking about certainly demonstrates even at the different levels of the society how um, um one one level Totally, totally um, uh, eat alive the next level of society, right? Or, in other words, disenfranchise it. And so this pretty much, or this predominantly happens, I would, from the wealth class and the rich class coming downward, where they monopolize majority of opportunities. And you have some governments who promote it, who help to sustain it who help to even further advance that level of status quo in the country. Right, Howard? But that's that's an, that's another spin-off conversation, Howard. But 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 the point being, Howard, that the government has to find a way through policies, and it only could be done through policies, Howard, to try and equalize what is taking place in this country, Howard, because if we are not careful, Howard, if we are not careful, we will become victims and second-class citizens in our own country. You hear me, Howard? And not only in Nassau, but throughout the family of islands also. I agree with you. This is a a very important conversation, Howard, that we need to open up on your show, my brother. It's so so critical. And it's it's happening, Howard. I read him. It's happening right now, right now as we speak. If you look at the cost of real estate in this country, if you want a decent, you know, you just acquired a home for you and your family. You understand what it is. I know. want you to speak about it as well. I it's know. even worse. It's I know. even worse. I know. Anyway, God bless our we hope gotta, we can open up this conversation and let's not take it easy, bro. I'd love that. And, and good job. Continue the good work. Thank you, man. We got to talk about that, especially under this New Day administration. I don't think that the shock and awe of uh, our expectation is to be able to justify and identify um, how we have confiscated, uh, acquired a plane, right? And I, I got to find out more information about that. 
uh, we've confiscated this particular thing. Now we're going to be able to repurpose it, remodel it. It costs us $2.5 billion to be able to take. Come on, man. Let's talk. Let's be real about these things, man. Let's talk about these things, man. Take the $2.5 million. Let me buy one of these DC cruisers and whatever the case may be and then pay me to carry you around the place. I mean, come on, man. Talk. You know how much pilots out here need a job? You know how you could start entrepreneurialism really in this country? We have to move away from this concept and idea of monopolism, uh, of this monopoly, and really put ourselves in the position of empowering people. Man, let's talk. So we could find some place to put our children and our family. All of us cannot live in our expedition. My God. Anyway, let's be decent, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're going to see you tomorrow right here on the foundation, chopping that thing down and being able to get into it. i got to be able to shout out to the uh, former prime minister who's been released from the hospital, being able to do those things. I'm hoping that he's doing well and being able to find those things. Guys, tomorrow, Friday, we're going to get deeper into that and open the lines. Have a beautiful day. We'll see you tomorrow right here on the foundation. Have a great day, guys. God spare. I'm proud,